I want to welcome Dr. Lisa Dyson to the show today. Doctor, thank you for being with us. You are the founder and CEO of Air Protein. Thanks for being here. There's there is lots going on in the innovative space with microbes and that and they're, you know, sort of parallel to you in that no land, no water, no hormones, no antibiotics, these benefits of not being in the factory farm situation. And then there's also cultivated meat, of course, which is not a fermented process, but again, saving on land, water, time, hormones, antibiotics, um, et cetera. So how do you see air protein fitting into that landscape of novel proteins as we shift to a new global food supply system? All those are necessary, as, as you said, as we shift to a new way of making food, and in particular, a new way of making meat, those are, are instrumental to this solving this, this challenge. I mean, the meat industry itself is a $1.4 trillion industry, so it's humongous. There's a lot of people buying a right. lot of meat out there. Uh, and the, what, what's different about us and what's unique is that we're, we have this carbon negative process. Um, carbon negative fermentation, as it, as it were. If you, if you put a box around our system, CO2 comes in and the protein comes out so that when we make our meat, you, you know, you compare that meat on a steak, that steak, that meat on a plate, as it were, uh, to the a piece of meat that came from a, you know, a cow, a steak, as it were, then you're going to get a huge carbon footprint versus a carbon negative process that made that. Um, and because of the carbon nature, the fact that we're doing kind of reverse fermentation, you can call it, air-based fermentation, the fact that we're doing that and we don't require any arable land for our, our protein, um, you know, we don't require sugar or anything, any of those other kind of inputs, you know, means that we use significantly less land versus the alternatives. And of course, along with that comes significantly less water. And so in essence, what we have is the most sustainable way to make protein. Uh, and then, so that allows us to make ultra sustainable meat. Uh, and we're focused not just on the sustainability, although that's why we built the company, um, but we're focused on nutrition and delivering nutrients to consumers as well.